Hello friends, this video on weather, climate and adaptations part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will spend some time looking at the adaptation of various animals which are living in different types of climatic conditions. So let us first talk about the polar bear. Now many of us might have not seen polar bear in real reality but we are all we all have seen the teddy bears so those teddy bears have been uh, created keeping in mind these polar bears so these polar bears they are generally found in the extremely cold polar regions now do you have an idea about the polar regions which are the polar region now when you look at the earth so earth, as I said, the entire earth is like a sphere, which is little tapered towards both the ends. So here comes the line which runs through the center, that is the equator. So this is called the equator and these are the two extreme poles. So this, this part is the north pole and this part is the south pole. So these two extreme parts of the sphere are extremely cold they are very very cold in fact they are covered with snow throughout the year okay so these are the polar regions basically so these polar bears they are called polar bears because they are found in the polar regions now we will see what are the special features which are provided to these polar bears so that they can survive in such extreme cold climate so they have thick fur. Now fur provides warmth to the body. In fact, many of us during winter season, we wear jackets made up of fur. Why? Because fur can provide us warmth. So this fur provides warmth, white in color. Now how does the white color help? Now since these regions are completely covered with snow, so if the polar bears are also white in color, so they kind of get uh, mixed with the white color of the background. That way they can protect themselves from predators so that nobody else comes and catches them or kill them. So as a kind of protection for themselves, their white color help them to stay in these polar regions which are covered with white snow. And at the same time, not only for protection, it also helps them to catch their prey. Now, if they want to eat some uh, cats some other animal and eat it so if they are hidden in the white snow that other animal will not be able to uh, recognize their presence they will not be able to see them so it will become easier for the polar bears to uh, catch their prey fat layer under the skin now fat what does fat do fat provides insulation to the body so insulation is providing heat to the body so it doesn't allow the heat from the body to go out so the heat is trapped inside your body and that makes you feel hot so that is why even though the and climate is so cold they are able to survive that's why you would have seen that people who are very fat they do not feel cold they, they tend to sweat more that's because when you have too much of fat inside your body they provide insulation so a lot of heat gets trapped within your body and you tend to feel more hot wide and large paws now how do their wide and large paws help now they help them to walk on snow because as i said the polar regions are completely covered with snow now walking on snow is not an easy task so have you ever tried walking over snow in case you have visited a, a hill station during winter season if not if in case you ever go to vacation to some hill station just try walking over the snow and you'll see that just after walking for a few minutes you tend to feel tired because it is quite difficult to walk over snow but these animals since they live in these kind of regions which are always covered with snow so their paws are quite wide because of which it, it gives a better grip for them and it helps them to walk over snow and in fact, these uh, paws also help them to swim during summer season. So even during summer, it is quite cold in the polar regions. So their body, due to the presence of fur and the fat layer, they, their body might get overheated. So to prevent any kind of overheating, they often go for swimming. So how do they swim? So these paws, the wide and large paws help them to swim also during summers. 
they have a very strong ability to smell and due to this ability it helps them to catch their prey they can locate their prey very easily small ears have you have you looked at have you noticed the ears of these polar bears they have very small ears you know so how do, does that help so small ears reduce heat loss because if you have very big ears the loss of heat from those ear openings will also be more now in such cold regions you really do not want lot of heat to be lost from the body so they have been given small ears sharp teeth now their sharp teeth help them to catch prey and eat them so in biting and chewing it helps them so that's how these are some of the important adaptations due to which polar bear are able to survive in the polar regions which are extremely cold comfortable thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again